Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to improve your camera quality on the Galaxy Note 9. Just giving you a big overview and all the recommended settings you want to do to have the best overall quality. Now, first and foremost, you want to know one thing going in and that's how to launch the camera. The quickest ways are to double tap the power button on the side. You can do that even if the screen is off. And the new way is with the S Pen. You just basically hold it down and it is your default app to launch the camera. Now we'll go through turning on location and then Bigsby Vision. Bigsby Vision, main thing you wanna use it for is a barcode scanner and you can do it for lots of other things if you want to look it up, but you do need a Samsung account in order to do it. So let's go through the settings because that is the majority of our features that we're going to change and improve our camera quality. So first thing I always point out to people uh, is that you do not want to make your uh, camera full screen. Why? Well, that is going to make it so that it does not look as good. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you go into settings right now and see you actually just lowered your quality from 12 megapixel to 7.9. If you crop or zoom in, this is gonna dramatically reduce your quality. So you wanna keep it at the 12 megapixel style. If you do do professional photos, you can shoot raw as well. So you'd wanna turn that on while you're here if you use those kind of photos. Now video size, video size is really important and it really depends if you are stable or not. Uh, the biggest reason for that is because if you do have steady hands and you want the amazing, amazing quality that this phone can shoot with, you want to shoot at UHD at 60 FPS. The big disadvantage of this is that it does not have the video stabilization uh, on by default then. So just know that, that you do want this if you are steady hands, but if you're doing something that you're causing a lot of movement, keep it at the standard 1080p. But if not, then you want to use video stabilization. You can do it with 60 FPS. So if you want to do a 60 FPS, uh, that will be with stabilization. But if you do put it all the way to 4K, it will be without it. So just know that, that those are the main two differences between those two. Now, you also want to make sure to turn HDR on auto. Tracking AF is not what you think, it's autofocus. So for focus, this basically is made for kids and pets, I always say. If you have anything that moves very fast, what this will allow you to do is tap on a specific section. And now if I move the camera around, it's going to lock onto that. So if I'm trying to keep track of someone and they're moving all around, it will stay on the part that you tapped it on. So that is what you would want that for. If you take a lot of that, then you would want to use it. Uh, super slow-mo, I honestly would just ignore because there is a much better quality than this one and we'll go over that in a few seconds. Um, again, with video size right here, your front-facing camera can actually do 2K video, so it can actually be better than 1080p. But again, the main thing you want to be aware of if you do do that is that you do not have stabilization in that mode. So if you want, again, steady your shot, you want this one. If you can do steady shot, or if you have it on something that keeps it steady, you want that one. Now we're gonna swipe up and you're gonna to want to change your front camera to save picture as previewed. So you don't get this weird mirror thing that a lot of other smartphones do. This auto corrects it. Uh, so that way it's just going to be a much better image. Okay, and keep face correction on. All this does is if you do it at a weird angle, it just makes it so your face doesn't look longer than normal. All right, and here is definitely something you want, and that is edit camera modes. In here, you want to go to the rear camera, and I would turn the food mode on. It's really great if you'd like to take pictures of your food. It will look absolutely better than every other phone. And then you also have slow motion. So what's the difference between these two? Well, this is 720p, and it's, it's much, much slower. However, it takes a lot more work to get it just right. This is 1080p, it doesn't zoom in as much, and it's much easier to use. So I would definitely take this off, turn this one on. This is much better than this version. Trust me, I've done it plenty of times. Then you can arrange those however you want, of course, as well. Motion photo allows you to take a short video, basically, so that if you messed up a photo or if a photo is blurry, you can actually go back and pick exactly a new image out of that photo. So 
You can turn that on if you want, or if you don't want that, it's up to you, but I recommend turning it on for the most part. And then I recommend turning on voice control. This basically allows you to say cheese, capture, smile, or shoot. And basically it is just really easy to take a photo. Although now the new S Pen might make it obsolete, it's still just a nice feature to always have on. We'll get to the floating camera button in a second. And then we have this one, holding the camera button. I would not do this as burst mode because it honestly doesn't come out as good, but I would instead do it as a little GIF. What this is, is like a little animated photo that really looks good. So if you want to really capture the moment in a fun, different way, that is a great way to do it. All right, now let's get to a couple of the other settings in the phone. So first of all is the floating camera button. You can literally just hold this and oops, instead of doing that, you can just take it out. So basically what this does is it allows you to take a really good shot. I would use the S Pen, but if you don't have uh, the S Pen at, out at the moment, you can just tap it and then take it. So that way you don't have to reach all the way to the bottom or even the side. It's a lot easier to keep it in the middle or wherever your hand is at the time. Now, the other thing is to take really good photos, you can tap and change the EV at the bottom right here. This will make your photo a lot better looking in the long run. And if you wanna do that perfect lighting and focus, you can also just hold it and that is going to uh, basically lock it in. So if you look at anything else, it's not going to change the overall lighting like it would normally otherwise. So that's gonna be really all you need for the rear camera. Now for the front camera, I do have to make sure that you do know that you can turn off the beauty modes that you have right here. Yes, if you want to look more rugged, you can or clean cut, but overall, I would recommend just turning that off and you'll have a much better uh, photo. No filter needed. Lots of other great modes in here, so I do recommend looking at some of them like selfie focus or wide selfie, things like that are coming real handy. And also, you can always do all these different effects and auto is actually an effect that uh, I would say works good well most of the time, but I like to do that after, which you can in gallery. You can actually see how it would have taken it on auto. So just something to know. And finally, the last thing you wanna know for your camera is your new S Pen remote feature. So if you hold this down, it'll take you to all the different functions. And by default, when you hold the button down, it will launch camera. Single press will take a photo and double press will switch camera. I actually prefer the double press to do recording a video. So that way I can just take a photo or do a video. It's really simple and easy. It just launches my camera, take a photo or record a video. So those are my favorite features. Let me know what you guys think and is your camera now looking really good? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.